This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Goochland County. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, three and a half bath home. This home is new construction and located here in a nice, quiet, new subdivision. Uh, we are actually here at the end of a cul de sac. Uh, and the property we're going to take a look at is towards the end of the cul de sac, so you have very little traffic coming through. Uh, this is an extremely quiet location. I uh, saw a couple of Cardinals here uh, a few minutes ago. And uh, if you are a big fan of a nice, peaceful neighborhood, uh, this might be right for you. This neighborhood is comprised uh, primarily of half-acre lots. And uh, Goochland kind of flies under the radar as far as the uh, Metro Richmond area. It, Goochland County is... Uh, about 290 square miles, population of about 25,000. So a lot of people really like the, the kind of small town feel uh, that you get here. You're still convenient to uh, Metro Richmond area. The highways are uh, very convenient. And of course you can pop up to Northern Virginia, DC uh, without much effort. And of course um, we're still convenient to uh, not only Richmond, but also Tidewater. So you've got a really good location here in Goochland County. Uh, this is a craftsman style uh, community and I really like some of the styling uh, that they've done here. Uh, the neighbors definitely uh, take good pride of ownership. We have a side entry two car garage. We've got some really neat features on this home uh, and I'll point them out as we go through. Some of these features you wouldn't really know about unless you were particularly uh, aware of uh, what you were looking for. So I'll be uh, very careful to point those out. We can see we've got a nice wide open backyard. One of the huge benefits of this location is that we have municipal water and municipal sewer. So there is no well and septic. And I say that because uh, there are plenty of people here throughout the country that have well and septic and they have it because that is basically a requirement uh, because of where they live. However, well and septic can be huge potential liabilities in the future as far as maintenance. Um, I definitely have seen in the past where uh, an individual will go to sell the home and then realize uh, that even though their septic tank has been working properly, uh, they realize that there are uh, 10,000 or more dollars needed in maintenance or repair. And uh, that's something you simply don't have uh, when you have municipal waste. And so uh, the uh, downside is, of course, you do have a water bill, uh, but you don't have the maintenance, the potential maintenance of a well and the issues that come along with it. All right, good looking exterior. We've got hardy plank siding. Hardy plank siding is a very durable material. It uh, should be low maintenance and not need paint uh, and very uh, easy to maintain. We do have composite decking. This is a smart choice here on this deck. Wood always takes a beating uh, whenever we have it on an area like this. So it's a very smart choice uh, for the builder to go ahead and use that very low maintenance composite material here on the front deck. You could of course sit out here on a nice day like today and just enjoy a nice summer breeze. Okay, let's go on in and take a look. All right, one of the things I love that the builder did was we've got a lot of wood flooring here on the first floor. Uh, that flooring extends, of course, up the stairs and into the hallway on the second floor. We've got a nice two-story foyer entrance here. Nice dramatic entrance. To the right is going to be our dining space. You can put your nice big dining table right there under that light fixture. Good natural light flows in. Uh, we're going to go through this door into our kitchen. Our kitchen, of course, features 42-inch cabinets we've got granite countertops the whirlpool stainless appliances do convey your refrigerator would go right there and this feature this kitchen features two pantries we've got pantry number one which is right here and then we have a little walkway that goes down the hall and then pantry number two right here this is a good spot if you have a family where uh, snack segregation is important. You could have one dedicated to one person and the other pantry dedicated to the other. You could actually put locks on those doors for maximum security. All right, here we have our nice deep stainless sink 
and our Whirlpool stainless dishwasher. We've got a nice bar area. We can get a few bar schools right there. And here to my left is going to be our dinette space. This is going to be your informal dining. And we've got the window there in the back corner of the home, as well as our door heading out to the back deck. I love our two-story family room. We've got a nice volume here. So this is a really great place to spend family time. And we're gonna pop out here on this deck and see what it has to offer. Our deck is oversized and we've got a nice amount of space back here to work with. You've got all the way back to that end. Those double doors are going to be to the first floor primary suite. So a really nice if you can pop out from your primary suite onto the deck. That's just a really neat feature. And we see that here with uh, many of these homes that have a first floor primary. All right, let's go down our hallway and see what else we have in store. Here to the right is going to be a coat closet. We're of course convenient here to the front door. This one's got some depth to it. So you have a, a lot of possibilities here uh, with this closet. As we go down our hallway, to the left is going to be another coat closet. It's a great place to put perhaps a vacuum cleaner like they have there. And we're going towards the front of the home. Now this is going to be a powder room. Once again, these, these wood floors continue here throughout uh, this first floor in the common space. And then a dedicated laundry room. Your wash and dryer would go right there. And we've got some nice big 42 inch cabinets overhead for some additional storage, along with some natural light that flows in through that window. All right, this home does have a two car side entry garage. And here it is right here. The builder went ahead and painted this space. Uh, if you have seen new construction before, you know that paint it often does not come automatically with a new garage. So you've got a nice appealing garage here and this is going to be our first floor primary bedroom we've got carpet ceiling fan here good natural light flows in there is of course the double doors going out to the deck that i just mentioned and i want to show you this closet this closet is impressive got a nice size closet here nice tall ceilings here in this uh, first floor as well you can definitely tell the difference uh, in the space. All right, we're now going to be transitioning into our first floor primary bath. And we've got a stand up shower here. This is going to be an oversized shower. And I believe that's like a cultured marble type material. We've got a little seat there. I love what they did here with our freestanding tub. Look at that. We've got those two windows there and the natural light just pours down into that tub. You've got the faucet there and then you've got the wand as well. Nice double vanity, nice, clean and bright. We've got ceramic tile on the floor and then our water closet there straight ahead. All right, so a very nicely appointed first floor. Uh, for those of you that are not big fans of second floor bedrooms, this is a great layout. Sometimes those hips, those knees, those thighs, Arthur comes along and uh, dictates that uh, stairs are not necessarily going to be something that he agrees with. So this is a great option for primarily first floor living. All right, but we've got some nice possibilities up here on the second level. There are those wood floors that I mentioned earlier here on the second level. This is going to be bedroom number two. We're now on the front of the home. This one features a ceiling fan and a nice size closet as well. I'm getting ready to do another first time buyer webinar. And so make sure you keep your eyes open for that. Um, I might put the link down in the description below. Uh, here in the next few days, but make sure you stay tuned. I'll do more advertising for that as it comes along. That is a free webinar. That's going to be about an hour and a half, 
and uh, we actually speak with a lender, answer your questions, and go in depth into the home buying process. We also talk about some of the grant programs, 100% financing, any and everything you need to know about starting your home buying journey. Okay, this is gonna be our hall bath. Nicely appointed. This is gonna be bedroom number three. We are now in the rear corner of the home. This is gonna be the most conservative of the bedrooms. Our closet space here. Now, I love what they did here with this two-story family room, because you can look over here and um, just have a nice view here from the second level. All right, here to the left is going to be our second hall bath. Remember, this home has three and a half baths, which is a nice bath count. Our stand-up shower. I like what they did with the knee wall here. Of course, the knee wall can be a challenge because, of course, you can't really walk underneath. But they did a little bump out uh, down there by the toilet in order to facilitate. And I think it works really well. It has a really neat aesthetic to it. Uh, it's just not a square box. Uh, so I think it, it works really well with the design of the home. Directly across is going to be another closet. This home does have dual zone heating and air. So we've got two heat pumps uh, and there is our second thermostat. This home also has a tankless water heater in place. It is going to be fired by propane. And uh, so that's a nice efficient feature. Uh, so when you fill up that nice big tub, you don't have to worry about running out of water. This is a massive room. This could actually work as a second floor primary if you needed it. We've got some good unfinished space here. I wanted to show you this because um, you never can have too much storage. Uh, and this is a great place uh, to do so. One of the good things about new construction, uh, when the inspector comes in, um, obviously it's easy for them to get to spaces like this. Uh, just to make sure that everything looks as it should. We do have our heat pump here. Remember, this is brand new. This is gonna be a RUD unit and should give many, many years of good, useful life. This home does have high-speed cable internet. Uh, Infinity is the provider. I know that's a huge factor for a lot of people, especially since they work from home and uh, who wants to have dial-up speeds when uh, you really need to get stuff done and be efficient. So a lot of good infrastructure has been taken care of here in Goochland County. If you have questions about this, or any other home in the market. My name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures, on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.